What is going on, guys? Skip here, and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today, we are back with some white ball cricket as we take on Kent in the T20 Blast. Now, if you did join us a couple of episodes ago, you would have seen that Pijma rarely got out into the middle with the bat. He was okay with the ball. He was able to pick up a couple of wickets, but he did get hit for plenty of runs. So hopefully today, he can pull all the form that we just found in the four-day game and bring it into the white ball competition. We're going to take on Kent in our first one. Then we'll take on Somerset and finish off with Hampshire. So hopefully three out of three for the Outlaws. Let's see how the Big Red gets on in the middle. If you do enjoy Cricket 22 content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I promise you'll make 100 in your next innings. We do live stream over on Twitch four days a week. I'll leave all my links in the description. So make sure you click on in, come and say g'day, and let's continue to put Cricket back on the map. Here we are, ladies and gents. Welcome to the Kent Oval for this T20 Blast game with the Kent, what are they, Unicorns and the Nottinghamshire Outlaws. You can see Pijma stays at number five in the white ball format. It's a little bit disappointing. We wouldn't mind that number three spot, but it doesn't matter. Wayne Kerr stands out in the middle today as the coin goes up. Nottinghamshire call tails. It fails on him and on a medium, dusty wicket. Today must be a little hot out there. Kent have chosen to bat. Let's see how Pijma can get on with the ball. Well, it's taken 13 overs for the big fella to get a bowl. Kent, 102 for one. Bell, Drummond and Crawley absolutely flying as the first ball from Pidge is 150 clicks. And it's getting worked to mid-wicket. Ooh, for a couple from Crawley. This will be a good battle. A heavily packed leg side field. So Pidge is into the body of Crawley again. And he works it to that mid-wicket fielder. A different field for Bell Drummond. He's 61 or 48. We need to be into the body and we are. And he's driving to mid on just for a single. Make it two. Six off the first three balls. A little bit disappointing in the field, but we go again to Crawley, who's hitting this one on the up. And there is a very valuable dot ball. Well, he's been inconsistent at times, and then he's been economical. What one are we going to get today? The last of his first is into Crawley, and he whips it forward a square this time. He's not going to pick up four. He'll pick up a couple, and after 14, Kent, or 110 for one. Pijma picks up another over. Five left in this Ken innings as we bowl the sh slower short ball and he gets hooked down over fine leg for four. Well, here we go. Well, I don't know why we had short fine leg up. He goes back to the fence. We're into Crawley again on his legs and he whips it through mid wicket. Has this gone all the way? It hasn't well fielded. He's turned a six into a four into a two. Take a bow, son. Well, they are the little wins that Pishman needs. None for 14. He's been expensive, kind of. As this one gets driven down the ground by Crowley. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's a run fest today. I tell you what, Pidge needs to be on his game here. He comes into Bell Drum and he goes short and Bell Drum and hits this to the man in the ring at mid-wicket. A valuable dot ball. Today is all about valuable dot balls. 127 for one. Pijma in again. Catch it, Pijma. Oh, you goose. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. It was a no ball anyway. He comes in for the free hit. Bell Drummond whips this off his legs. He's going to get one to the man out at midwicket. No, they come back for two. No, they keep it at one. Well, I'll tell you what, this bloke needs to stop overstepping. He comes in for the second last again, a slower bouncer. How does he get that much air on it? And I think it's gone for six. Well, what on earth is happening? Crawley goes to 48 and Pishma gets another over. He rolls in and Crawley looks to bang him down the ground. He doesn't get enough meat on that. And he's going to keep it at the single. Well, he's tried everything. None for 27. Hasn't really attacked the stumps. He goes short again to Bell Drummond and wins a dot ball. Is this the time that he looks at his toes? He flies in and he rolls it into Bell Drummond's knees. It hits him, but it might have been straying down leg. The boys get back for a leg by. 
Well, that's a good sign. We've shortened Bell Drummond up. Then we've got him on the pads. Crawley on 49 this time. And Pish hits his toes. Well, this is a much better over. We've gone the Yorker length here. Can we fire another one? In we can. And we're just going to concede the single out to mid-wicket. This is a much better comeback from the big red. Final ball of his third. I'm not too sure if we're going to get the last, but he rolls in the bell drum and once again, hit off the legs, concedes the single. And after, oh no, they're coming back for two. They do. And after 18, Kentner 148 for one. Well, just the one wicket to fall and the one over to bowl. The big fella's got it in his hand. And again, he's on the pads of bell drum and it's just going to be a single out to backward square. We're going to roll the fingers over this. You can't let Crawley get too comfy with the pace. We do that and he dabs it to the keeper. Another valuable dot ball. Well, is it leg cutter time? The leg cutter again needs to be angled in at the armpit. It is and he French cuts it. Oh, the AI shitting on us today. That is disappointing. Well, it doesn't matter what you try. You're always going to lose. We roll in again, this time. Bell Drummond whips it to mid-wicket. Dot ball, and what a last over this has been. I reckon we might get a bat today. 162 for one go, Kent. Last ball is Pishma's in. He rolls his fingers on it. It's a little bit fuller. Drummond wasn't expecting it. They come back for a couple, and after 20 overs... No, they're coming back for three. Kent finish, 165 for one. And that was all she wrote. After a couple of expensive overs to start, your boy bought it back. He wasn't able to take a wicket, but neither were most of the outlaw bowlers. 165 for one after 20. Can the outlaws chase this? They've had a couple of good games with the white ball. Can Pishma get a bat this time? Let's see how the big dog gets on. Can he get the boys a win? Well, yes, he's going to need to go and get the boys a win. Nottinghamshire, 87 for three. They need 79 off 39. Gilchrist rolls in. He bowls it full to Pish, and he punches it down the ground. He's off the mark with a single. He's going to need a lot more than that to get the boys over the line today. Joe Clark down the other end. We've been able to forge some good partnerships with him in the past. Quinn comes into the attack. He bowls it short. Pijma rolls back and he punches it down the ground. He calls Clark through for a couple and Clark gets home. That's good running. Well, we saw how quick the twos and threes can add up in an innings like this. Gilchrist again. He's flat. He's fallen. Pishman gets a bit more. Does he get the boundary? He doesn't. Do they come back for three? They do. That's great. Five off two to start. Well, Clark picks up the single and he gets the big boy back on strike. Six off three. The intent is there. The leg side's packed. He gets a short ball and it doesn't matter how many he put on the leg side. There's the first boundary. What a shot. Well, it does not get any better than that. He tries to get pinned between the eyes and he rocks back and takes four of the best. Well, the 100 comes up for the Outlaws and they can smell a victory here. Quinny, none for 22. He rolls in last ball and Pishma pumps this to the sweeper out at mid-wicket. 15 bowl, the Outlaws 101 for three. Spin into the attack and on a dusty wicket, you're going to expect it to spin. We walk across pre-med and we find the gap straight away. We're not messing about in the chase today for more. The bloke cannot be stopped. Is he going to do it again? He gets exactly the same ball. And the backward square fielder comes a little finer and he just chops that down for one. Well, I'll tell you what, these Kent bowlers are getting it from both batsmen. Clark doing his best as well. He gets short this time once again. The plan to sweep is there for Pijma. Christian back into the attack for his last. 54 off 24. The boys need to go. What's Christian got? He's got a short ball. It hits Pijma in the leg, and that is a dot ball you do not want to see. Once again, four men on the leg side. He gets short. Pijma whips, and he whips real fine. Down a fine leg. The slide comes in. They've got to take the arm on Pijma's home, and so is Clark. Well, can we do it in twos? I don't think so. We get the full toss. This time, Pish hits it into the gap again. It doesn't matter how many you put out there. He is finding them today. Well, he's been expensive. None for 33. Mid-off comes up. Pishman looks 
into the gap. He takes some leg. Do they come back for two? No, they don't. Well, he's just changed his whole plan up. And just like that, oh my days, we have not seen a ball in two overs. And the game is well and truly over. Well, well, well. Patel has taken up balls. We've lost Clark, and now we need 35 off five. It's not going to be done. It's Pijma tries to whack one over backward point. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Well, that's just a sign of frustration. You put the man on strike, and look what he can do. Milne round the wicket. He bowls exactly the same ball. Pijma doesn't get all of this, and it should be taken. Yes, it is. Outlaws don't deserve it. Well, certainly not Pijma. He goes for another one in junk time. He doesn't beat the backward point fielder this time, and he and the Outlaws are gonski. 29 off 16. The Outlaws five for 137. Well, three run outs is not going to cut it and the Outlaws get done by 18 runs. It was there for them to win. They had the wickets in hand, but boy, they just couldn't clutch up at the end. Clark getting 43. Pijma batting his ass off for 29. But Kent with a better team on the day. Baldrum and Zach Crawley doing their thing. Pijma a little expensive, but we've found some form with the bat. Let's see how the boys get on in the next one. Welcome back to Trent Bridge for another T20 Blast game against Somerset. Can Nottingshire pull it together at a home crowd? And Pijma stays at five. Joey Clark gets the captaincy. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be a game that the Outlaws need to take seriously. The coin goes up. Somerset call heads. They win the toss. And boy, on a medium standard wicket today, what are they going to do? What is that haircut? The slick back. Go and have a haircut. They win the toss and have a bat. Pijma's going to fire up with the ball. Well, he got into the captain's ear and he said, boy, let me have a bowl at this mob. With haircuts like that, you can absolutely do one. The first of the sixth comes in as Pijma's on the toes of green and he hits it to square leg for no run. So once again, Pijma going with a very heavy leg side field. You have to do this AI. Oh, with there or thereabouts, and he sneaks it through first slip for four. You can't do much about that. Well, he's fired up from the game before. He was good with the bat. Let down by his teammates. He's on the money again, and Green punches this to mid on just for one. Slower balls might be the key on this type of wicket. He rolls into Green again, who launches him over cover to the short boundary. One bounce, four, and the pressure is back on the young fella. Well, two boundaries in four balls, not what you need. None for nine after four as well as he goes short, and this time Smead smacks him through cover point. Three in the over. Well, if you're going to bowl it short, bowl it at his temple. He... Doesn't get it right this time. And Pijma's been flogged for four boundaries in the over. Somerset 59 for one after seven. And boy, oh boy, did he deserve a spell. 17 off his first. He comes back on in the 16th over. 135 for one as his first ball's at the hip. And it goes for four. <laughs> Well, has it got to the point in the summer where the wickets erodes in England? He goes short this time, and Pish is into the gloves of Green, and he just concedes a single. Well, that was a good ball. Really well thought out. None for 23 off his nine balls as he's in again and concedes another single out to mid-wicket. We need to stop Smead from getting 100. 142 for one. He rolls in again, and there's another nice short one. Backward square called into the game. He's like a roller coaster, this bloke, I tell ya. Cheeky cross seamer to finish off the over. Smead's going to be asked to play a shot. It hits him in front of middle. Surely this is out. Yes, it is. Well, we made him ask the question, and he's kicked it in front of the middle. He's going upstairs. He is selfish. You're in the 90s, bro. You are gone. Legitimate delivery. What are you doing, Smeed? 
He stood on this. Absolutely stood on it. What's Hotspot going to say? Or Schnicko, whatever you call it. Oh, that is Salmon Trout. Get out of here. We don't even need Hotspot. I just need to have a look at this hit his shin. Call the ambulance. I think we have a broken leg. That is bang in front of middle. We go to Big Eye. Impact in line and hit him in line and it's banging the base of middle stump. Get out of here, you selfish bugger. You are a disgrace. Well, Smeed gone for 90 and Pijma picks up the vital wicket. He's in again and Green steps across and bangs it out to backward square for just the single. Well, he may have gone for a couple in his first over, but he has pegged it back nicely in the last couple as he finds the toes of green again, and all he can do is whip it to backward square for one. Well, what an over this has turned out to be. Three singles, a dot, and followed up with another single. The last ball of the 18th to green. Pidge rolls in. He knocks it into the wicket. And then once again, all he can do is hit it back with a square what? And over from the big dog. Five off it. And Somerset, 153 for two. Well, once again, he's called upon to bowl the last over. 159 for two as he bowls the leg cutter into the wicket. It's nice and slow. Now to the short boundary square, the batsman keep it at one. He's got a little bit left in the tank surely enough for five as this time green whips it and he whips it nicely into the gap boy the outlaw fielders have been on it today he's been as economical as it gets he bowls another leg cutter into the deck and boy that backward square field has got to work out but what a comeback this has been Last ball of the innings, 165 for two. They've pulled it back, and all Bartlett can do is bang this into the gap at wide mid on. The boys come back for two, almost a direct hit. And at the end of it, Somerset are 167 for two. And yes, that was all she wrote. What a comeback effort from Pijma and the boys. They were staring down the barrel of 190, 200, I reckon. But the boys were able to muster a couple of dot balls, field really well, and limit Somerset to 167. We're going to pick up play in the 19th over. It's 155 for three, and Pijma's walking out to the middle. We need 12 runs off 11 balls. Joey Clark's on 98, not out. Can Pijma steer the boat home? Let's see. See how he goes. Well, out he rocks. The big rock and roller. He's got five balls to make as many, I guess, as he can. The boys need 13 off 11. He gets a full toss first ball, and he's going to bang it to mid off for no run. Well, although you would say the Outlaws have got the game, we've seen plenty of teams lose it from here. Thomas in with the full toss, and Pishma rocks him forward. He hits it straight past him. He plays in the V now. It's picking up legs. It doesn't go for four, but he gets off the mark with two. 11 from nine. Still the five men out on the boundary. Thomas rolls in. Another full toss. Pishma gets a little bit more of this, but it's only one to the man on the ring. While we go into the last over, Jack Leach. Jack Leach, we need seven off six. He bowls a short ball. Pishman goes back and he cuts. Oh, they've hezied. They've hezied. They've hezied. Can Pishman get back for two? Boy, oh boy, the shot's almost gone to the boundary and they do. <laughs> While Leach went short and Pishman went bang, they pick up a vital two. It's four off five now. Leach short again. Pishma back and he rocks this in to cover for one. That could be game the way Clark's going. And yes, it was game. Nottinghamshire 169 for three. Winning it by seven wickets in the last over. Big Joey Clark picking up 106 not out. And your boy picking up a cheeky six not out off five. We conceded 17 in our first over. We were able to pull it back to one for 38. And I reckon if Joe Clark didn't make 100, you know who your best on ground player of the match was. This bloke is growing in the confidence. He is getting better and better each game. Let's see how we can crack on in the final game of this T20 Blast. Welcome back to Trent Bridge for the final match of the T20 Blast group matches. We're playing against Hampshire today. Ian Holland, Reese Whitley, Jimmy Vince, Liam Dawson, Benny Mack, 
the squad is absolutely jacked. Nottinghamshire looks beautiful tonight. As the coin goes up, the boys have decided to wear the same colour. Hampshire calls tails. It fails on this occasion. And on a medium standard wicket today, what is Joey Clark, the century maker, going to do? He's chosen to bowl. It seems to be a winning trend for the Outlaws. Let's see if the big dog can smash it up in the middle. Well, he's been brought on in the third over. Power play overs are not what Pijma's all about, but today might be the day. He rolls in for his first ball. It's short, and Holland almost plays it onto the stumps. Do we test the outswinger? Do we bowl cutters? Do we bowl short? I don't know. We've got the slip in, and we play and miss. The Holland Pijma's in his grill. Well, the outswinger was fast. Boy, oh boy, did it look good. Can we trust him with two men out this time? He gets slashed a point for no run. Well, honestly, it doesn't really matter where you bowl. The AI are going to want to take you wherever they want. We bowl across Seema and we're through him again. Well, this is inspired bowling. Absolutely brilliant to start. He's got a couple left. He bowls the leg cutter. It gets dabbled by Holland to Samet at the ring, and he throws it in for the single. The last ball of the first over to Weatherly. We've just conceded the one. We're there or thereabouts. He whips it off his legs to short fine. It's going to be another dog ball. Just the one off the third. Hampshire 15 for none. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start, really. He's going to roll in for the last over of the power play. Yet to take a wick at the Outlaws, but we're there to Holland, who's playing and missing. Well, he's got his tail up. He's going to roll in for the fourth ball. He's taken three dot balls. He finds the edge. How is that? Yes, he's gone. Well, that's what pressure does. This bloke has been absolutely tearing the circuit up. He throws one on a length. Why would you review that? Oh, he bends his back and what a catch at first slip. Hollinger gone and it's one for 35. Oh, what a spell of bowling this has been. He rolls in one for one and he's on the bat of Prest who can only knock this to mid off for none. Well, the last of his second. Can he pick up a wicket, mate? And then catch it. How is that? He's got a double wicket, maiden. Yes. It doesn't get any better. What can't this man do? A beautiful catch down low to the right. And Pishma's picked up a second. It's two for 35. Well, the bloke will be at the pub and the strippers tonight, regardless of the result. He gets another over and he rolls in this time to Whitley, who bangs him to point for no run. Pijma immediately goes round the wicket to Whiteley. Whitley, whatever his name is, it doesn't matter. He gives him the off cutter and he bangs it to extra cover, no run. You're probably going, Skip, why don't you have a sweeper out at extra cover? Well, why would you when this bloke's really gone for a run? As we speak, we put the mocker on him, and there's the first boundary we concede. Or it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're going to go back to the left-hander here. Two for five. We don't bring extra cover out. We leave him there, and it's punched to mid on for no run up-ish. Well, a slower bouncer might be in order here for these hard hands. He rolls in. Oh, he punches it up to cover catch it. Yes, he can. We've got three. Hey, I've just spoken you through it. That's why you call me the skipper. Into the wicket. He bumps it in the air and cover takes the catch. He attacks and he is rewarded. Hampshire three for 47. Well, the boys are having a party. Three for five off three overs. He rolls in again, and he's on the bat of James Vince, who hits it to mid on for no run. Superb contest. Well, we know what James Vince can do to attacks. We've got to be on the money to him here. We are, and all he can do is inside edge it off his hip, and he gets down the other end for one. Second last ball of the spell. We can not go for over 20 as Vince rocks back. He pinches a single to mid off and we do not mind that. Last ball of the fourth. We're going to go in at the stumps here. Can we bang the wall? We can't. All that happens is Dawson hits it to mid off. No run. And after 10 amps here, a 54 for four. 
And after that amazing spell, three for eight. Would you read about it? Well, 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 I don't think you would. He comes in and finally the great man gets rewarded, keeping Hampshire to 122 for five after their 20 overs. And just when you thought that might have been an easy target to chase, we're going to pick up play in the ninth over. Pishma's walk into the crease. Nottinghamshire still needs 73 runs to win. It's 49 for three. The time is now for the big fella. Can he get his boys over the line? Let's catch him out in the middle. Well, it's intense cricket T20, and I tell you what, what a way to end the episode if we can chase these runs down. We need about one of balls. Cranes into the attack, and Pijma's wasting no time sweeping that to backward square to get off the mark, bring up the 50, and tell the boys that he's here to play. Nathan Ellis joins the attack. 50 for three, nine, bold Pijma back. And he works this to the deep man at mid on. They come back for two now. We know Duckett's slow, but does he get in? He does. Jam-packed leg side field. We've come to just know that that's the field they're going to give us. Ellis rolls in. He's good with his pace, this bloke. This time he's a little too full. Pijma steps on it and so does Duckett. And all they get is a single. We can actually construct this innings here. We don't really need to come out and bang it. We can use our in-between shots here as we get a full toss and we hit this down the ground. We're going to make mid-off work. He certainly does. Pijma comes back for two and after 10, the Outlaws are 56 for three. Mason Crane continuing one for 11 off his 2.1. He's got mid Oh, Oh, what are you doing, Mace? What are you doing? Pishma sweeps it for four. That's yuck captaincy, that. That is really bad captaincy, really bad bowling, and they have not made a change to the field. Pishma's going to do it again. He gets exactly the same ball, and he misses it. Once again, hasn't made the change. Can we get the ball third time lucky? It's a little bit wider, and there's the helicopter for nothing. Well, he's come back nicely here. A couple of dot balls. We're just going to pre-med here. He gives us the wide one, and we'll pick up an extra one and ball. Just when you thought one spinner was enough, the other comes in. Dawson, ready to start his spell. He goes over the wicket, and Pishma bangs him to the sweeper out of point just for one. Well, I was going to say, we can leave the big hitting up to Ducker, but it looks like he just wants to coast as well as the first ball from Wheel. He's short at Pige, and he works this down a fine leg. Dawson goes for nine off his first over. He's got mid-off up, which is tempting, and he's round the wicket, but Pigeman just works the sweep shot. He works it well to the man at backward square. Do they take him on? No, they don't. Well, Mason Crane back into the attack, and he's still got that field, boys, and he goes, what's he doing? Pigeman sweeps, and he sweeps straight to the man. Well, it's 31 off 36. No need to take risk, but you can still play your shots. Crane in again. He's wide, and Pishma's trying to scoopy whoopy. 15 off 15. Required run rate 4.20. Ian Holland into the attack, and he's full and slow, and that pace is putrid to face. Who enjoys bowling 112 kilometers an hour? Are you kidding yourself, Holland? He's wide again, and Pishma, oh, he's asleep by the time it gets there. He's going to continue to bowl that line. We can cut him. We can square drive him. This time we do. We square drive him to point just for a single get down the other end. You can see that Wheel wants to be outside off stump, and that is exactly what he is, and there's nothing flashy about this innings, but the boys will continue to take the ones. To be fair, the Hampshire bowlers have actually bowled all right. 118 for four off 18. Holland into the attack and Pijma tickles this to short fine leg for no run. Five from 11. That's all the boys need for a massive, massive victory here. Holland onto the legs. Pijma bangs it back with a square. Can he come back for two? Yes, he can. And he's within a good shot of getting a victory for the boys. Holland's going to continue to bowl on that leg stump. All we need to do is just find the gap. And that we don't do. We hit it back with a square. And this could be all she wrote for the Outlaws and the Hampshire boys. Oh, and Duckett's out. Oh, Duckett, what you done, bro? 
What have you done? You've left it up to Pijma. He bangs this down the mid-wicket gap. He calls Samet through for two. And that should be all she wrote for the win. The Outlaws finally get there in the end. Look at big Pijma pants. And yes, he goes and picks up his player of the match. Look at him, three for eight. And a steady head at the end, getting the boys over the line. 124 for four, 18.5 overs is what it took him. And Nottinghamshire win by six wickets. Your big boy, Pish, taking three for eight at the top, making a cheeky 24 red. And finishing off the pool matches of this T20 blast in style. Well, we are going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Three very intense games of T20 cricket. We love it, though. It's exciting. We get around it. It certainly lifts the tempo of the game of cricket. But if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you come and check us out on our live streams as well. But until next time, guys, look after yourselves and those around you, and I'll catch you in the next one.